Hey, this is a tutorial on how to record your Xbox 360 using a VGA monitor and a Pinnacle Dazzle. Um, I posted a couple of videos on my other channel where I had recorded some video game footage and within like a day and a half, two days, I had some messages of people asking me how I recorded a VGA monitor using a Dazzle. Because as you can see, the Dazzle only does composite nest video. So I'm going to show you exactly what setup I'm using to do this and hopefully it'll help you to be able to get your own setup going to be able to record. It might make it a little bit easier on you and give you some ideas. First thing you're going to need is the, uh, of course, the Dazzle itself, which I got mine as a factory refurb uh, on eBay. Uh, really, I saved a bit of money doing that. Um, it was about $45 and it works fine. So. You know, don't feel bad getting these refurbished because it worked out for me. So the next thing you're going to need is a uh, video converter. Uh, you're going to need a VGA to VGA, and then you're also going to need it to run either S video or composite. This one does both. This was about twenty dollars after shipping, and uh, what it does is it takes the the signal and it sends, of course, one to your your monitor to game on and it'll send another signal to your capture card for recording and I'll show you how to set this up and how it works uh, a little bit later in the video. So chances are if you're uh, playing your Xbox you're going to want to have sound going to your speakers and to your capture card because you need to run audio to your capture card if you want to record sound and if you want to still have your, be able to use your speakers while you're recording you'll have to split that signal somehow. So uh, it would be preferred if you could get a splitter like this uh, w which would be female the two female. Um, I couldn't find any of those in any local stores, and it was it seemed ridiculous to pay about eight dollars shipping for you know dollar cable. So what I did is I just went to Walmart and bought these male to two female. Uh, about two of these, and these were about a dollar thirty each. And then for about a dollar, I got these gender converters. And so basically, all I did was this, which is you take the uh, splitter and plug that on there. Boom, female to two female for your audio here. And uh, basically what you're going to do with these is once you have them set up, you'll be taking your, your audio cable and you plug this in. And now instead of one white, you have two. And that will come in handy and I'll explain again later in the video uh, how to set this up as well. You're also going to need two sets of these um, composite audio cables, the red and the white. And the reason for this is, is you need two is because you need to be able to run uh, one set to your speakers and another set to your uh, capture card for recording sound. So you need to be able to, if you can't, if you don't have two sets of these laying around, which seems likely most people do, uh, these are really cheap. You can get these. Uh, I'll probably put a link to where you can buy these online in the video, but I mean, you just go to the store and get them cheaper. It'll probably spend less on shipping. So. If you're using a VGA monitor that doesn't have built-in speakers um, like me, you're probably going to want to use like a set of PC speakers like I use or something which won't typically have the uh, white and red composite uh, input. So uh, I had to get one of these nice little converters here and it pretty much just takes the composite and turns it into like a regular uh, headphone jack type deal. I can't think of the actual name for this. And uh, I'll post a link on where to get these as well in the video. To record your video you can use a composite cable to transfer your video but I'm not going to recommend that because this cable is shit. Um, it'll get you by if this is the best you can do which it really shouldn't be. This stuff is total ass. So get rid of that and get yourself one of these. This is an S-Video cable and I never really used S-Video before I started recording so I never, I learned the hard way the difference between the two. This makes a world of difference when you're recording in the video quality. This is so much better, it's so much clearer. Uh, I would not record without this and I would, suggest, I would definitely suggest you get one of these over composite. If you're watching this video, it probably means you already have one of these. Uh, and that is an Xbox 360 VGA cable, which lets you plug, use a, you know, a VGA monitor, and it has the, uh, for sound, it still uses composite. 
if you don't have one of these, I'm not really sure why you're watching this video on how to record with a VGA monitor, but uh, if you're using composite instead of component or uh, HDMI, I would definitely suggest getting one of these if you have a good monitor to use because these will uh, run up to 720, I believe, HD, and that's pretty sweet. So pick one of these up, they're pretty cheap. Uh, yeah. Once you have all that and you have your VGA cable plugged into your Xbox 360, you're going to want to plug it into the line-in on your video converter. And then you're going to want to take the cable, the VGA cable from your monitor and plug it into the line-out on the, the converter. Plug that in. Okay. I don't actually run my VGA uh, cable straight into my monitor. What I actually use uh, which this isn't something that you have to do, it's something that I personally do because my Xbox, I play it on the, the monitor that I use, it's my second monitor for my computer and I use it, I play my Xbox on this and so what I have is this uh, VGA switch here which basically I, I run my VGA into this and I also have my computer running into this and I can switch between my computer and my Xbox simply by doing that uh, this is optional, of course, if you, if you only have one monitor and you use it for your computer and your Xbox, uh, this will save you from swapping out cables and you'll still be able to... It'll be a lot easier than switching back and forth between the two to record and knowing what you're doing and stuff. I, I could just imagine it saving a lot of time. If you have two monitors, it's not really an issue because you can still use the one for your computer and the other for your Xbox. Uh, I just I had this before I ever started recording and it's pretty much the best thing ever. Once you have this connected and into your monitor, uh, if you plug in the power, which this is actually powered by USB, so you are going to need for your Dazzle and for this uh, two open USB spots for you to do it. Once you have this plugged in, you'll be able to actually play on your monitor. Uh, you won't be set up to record yet, but you're pretty much good to go on playing once you have this going. So, But the next step, what you're going to need to do to record is to get your S-Video cable or composite if you're that blind and stupid. And you're going to have to plug it into this. Like that. And you take the other end, and you're just going to plug it into your Dazzle, to the S video end. Just like that. So now you have one line running from your Xbox out to VGA to your monitor where you'll be playing, and then you'll have one S video running to your Dazzle where you'll be recording. Now you need to do your audio, which your uh, VGA cable should have the two composite. Uh, red and white cables for audio. And you're going to take your converters that you got, female to two female, and you're going to hook those up like this. One on red, one on white. So now you have two whites and two reds. Okay. Okay, so the next thing I do is I take my uh, audio jack for my speakers and I uh, plug it into this composite splitter here, which I'll do right now. I the mess here. Got limited space. That fix. And now we're ready to run some composite into there. So to hook up your speakers to your Xbox, you're going to take the red and the white cables here that you have split, and you're going to have one set of your composite cables. And you're going to plug the white into one of the white ones that you've split and the red into one of the red ones that you've split, like this. Okay. So this is the two whites, so you're going to take one of these, plug the white in. These are the two reds, so you're going to take one red, plug that in. And the other end here, just match them up. Which, this should be pretty much self-explanatory. If you don't know how to do this, God help you. Now you have this set up, not only will you be able to play on your monitor and record the video, but you'll also be able to get sound. But I guess if you want to record sound, you're going to have to do one more step, which is take your second set, composite cable, red and white, and you're going to do the same thing that you did for your speakers, only you're going to plug them into your Dazzle instead. So we're going to take one white, Red into red. And then we're going to plug them into our dazzle. 
Congratulations. Now you're running video to your monitor and your dazzle, and you're running audio to your speakers and to your dazzle. You are ready to record. Okay, just a quick recap here. What we have going now, we have this all set up as we have our Xbox running video into our little video converter here, and then from our video converter to our monitor, and from the video converter to the capture card. We also have audio coming from the Xbox split, one line going to our speakers and the other line going to our capture card for recording. And the major downside to all this, all the converters and stuff, is you get this whole mess of jumbled wires and they're just everywhere and it's going to take a little bit of cleaning up to not have these laying everywhere. Okay, so now that you have all of this hooked up, you're going to go ahead and turn on your Xbox. Like so. As you can see, it's starting up. It is actually plugged in. We're going to switch to my Xbox. And voila, we have video. So what's going on right now is the Xbox is sending video to the monitor and it's also sending video to the capture card. Now your Dazzle should have come with a program called Pinnacle Studio. And so once you've got your Xbox going, you're going to open up Pinnacle Studio. You're going to go to Import. And it'll take a second to load. And it'll come up with a screen. And it'll show you what is going on on your monitor. And as you can see, this is real. This is happening in real time. And you can uh, record this. And you're, once you've gotten this far, uh, you, know, you can adjust your settings based on uh, what resolution you plan, what you're trying to achieve when you're recording. And you should be pretty much good to go. Final note which I want to talk about is uh, this does not record HD and it's not going to record HD. The best you're going to be able to record on this is a widescreen format at 720 by 480 resolution. And uh, as long as you're using S video cable it should come out clear enough to where you'll be able to see what's going on, be able to read the text. And once you record it you can either use uh, Pinnacle Studio or what I prefer to use, which I will close this out, just take a second, is Sony Vegas. And you open that up and uh, wherever you decide to save your video files to, you can pretty much uh, take them and drag them into uh, Sony Vegas, which is actually popping up on my other monitor right now, so I'll go ahead and switch back. We have Sony, Sony Vegas. And you uh, drag it into this, and then you can render it in high definition, uh, up to 1080p uh, full HD. So your videos won't actually be in high definition, but they'll be rendered in high definition, and that's the resolution they can be played in, and you won't really lose quality as opposed to if you're on an HD monitor and you're trying to play a low resolution video on a full screen, it'll get blurry and choppy, and it won't really do it so much if you render it in HD. It'll be a little bit better and a little bit clearer. And there's also other features you can use to kind of take out some of the blur and bring out the colors in your standard def videos with this program. And it's, I would definitely suggest you get this uh, once you start recording. So that about sums it up. Uh, if you have any questions, I guess just leave a comment or send me a message and I'll try to answer them. Uh, this is a complete budget build here. Uh, if you want to record in HD, you're not going to be able to do it with one of these. You're looking to spend at least probably about $200 or more and that's if you get a good deal to record in HD with audio and video and everything. Like I said, this is about $45 and this is about uh, $20 after shipping. The rest of its price is pretty much negligible, you know, $6 total. Uh, this is definitely a budget way to record, but it's a good way to get started if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money because you're not sure if you're going to stick to it or not. Uh, it's what I did, uh, a little bit of trial and error, and this is what I've come up with. This is about the best I think I'm going to do for the money that I spent. Uh, you know, you don't have to, you're not limited to these pieces. You can make up your own mind. If you want to get a better capture card, you can. These work great for the price. You're not going to find a better one for the the price of these. Uh, I would probably suggest getting a different one of these if you have the money to spend on it because this one has a little bit of problems here and there but it's 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 worth it if this is the best you feel like you want to put into it. So, uh, Hopefully I'll be able to start uploading some uh, new videos soon to the channel to get a little bit of content on here and uh, have a nice day guys.